Architectural concept diagrams are the key themes and ideas underpinning every studio project and the design phase. They enable you to articulate your own thoughts and architectural ideas from words to drawings and make it easier for your audience to understand it. What's up guys, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we'll cover a fun topic on how to create architectural diagrams in ACAD and Lumion part two. This is a part two uh, series of a video that we already covered in the uh, previous videos. I'll leave the link in the description for you guys to delve deep into part one. So basically today we'll be using concept diagrams, uh, not contextual diagrams. In the past video, we were using contextual diagrams, but this one we're using concept diagrams. Without further ado, let's get started. I will use the site plan we created on part one as a base to develop today's concept diagram, so as to put our concept into context. Thanks to the concept, contextual diagram, I have established a concept in response with the environment. This is, in, this is so in terms of top, top, topography, landscape and views. So the concept development was as a response to the site that we already created. We are going to base our concept in a home by the park theme. A home by the park theme derived from the site response overlooking the park's lavish landscape and pond. So this site guided us to produce this concept. So as sketches, you start as an architect, you start by sketching, right? So this is the first that sketches that I developed, just the house overlooking the park. So in that sense, it's, it's sort of a deck. It's a raised um, design or cabin or, you know, whatever you want to name it. So responding to the site, it has to be raised. It has to be uh, overlooking the dam, the pond and the lavish landscape. So the aim is to articulate a home by the park concept into sketches, then translate those sketches into illustrations and diagrams using Archicad and Lumion workflow. That's what architecture is all about, putting ideas into drawings that your audience will easily understand. Your audience being either your teachers, clients, or municipals. So those are people you're going to, uh, people need to understand this kind of drawings. So you produce the drawings for them. The first step is to translate my sketch into a kid, so I'm going to put my sketch into a kid, and then that kid illustration will serve as a foundation form of the concept before visualizing the final form in Lumion. So basically, in a kid, uh, the principles that I'll be following in a kid, I'll just be tracing, um, mimicking the design that I sketched. I'll just play around uh, using slabs or you know timber structures, kid elements. So basically, a workflow, a kid workflow. I'll bear in mind the I kid workflow, like uh, putting my elements in layers, um, saving views, and uh, making three documentations, isometric diagrams. Just so that's basically the I kid workflow. That that is what I'll try and mimic in I kid. I'll model different kinds of shapes from the sketch, interpreting the sketch. Um, you know, color coding your materials, just following through with the sketch. I will speed build this process because uh, I don't want to take uh, quite a long time, but uh, the key principles that I followed uh, are that of our workflows, layers, seven views, um, three documentations, isometric diagrams, links to the in-depth tutorials of this workflows and the description uh, you can delve deep into our workflow of our saving views our three documentations so here i'll just speed build and show you our show you guys our workflow to um, interpret architecture diagrams uh, this diagrams is one of the type of diagram you should be using to commune your designs um, you know design presentations concept diagrams you know 
that's just indicating how your you came up with your concept. So uh, basically, this arcade workflow is to um, indicate how I came up with my concept from my sketch and then to my arcade, uh, arcade. you know, they're often the, you know, the freest form and and following, you know, it's just, you're free to, to explore. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm really, free. I was free to explore. You can play around with mouths, you can play around with this and arcade just interpreting your sketches. That's basically it. You need to sketch first, you know, experimenting through via sketches and then uh, then here you just experiment, you know. Okay, let now, as the model, this is the final model uh, in Akihad that I managed to produce from development. So if you are following through my speed build, this is the final form I managed to um, interpret from the sketches that are from the sketches so now we can uh, freely uh, transform our model save our documents and then place on views and then elements by elements are saved in views are saved one by one so you could uh, make an isometric uh, diagram you know but let's move on to the lumion workflow guys the Lumion workflow, you save your 3D model, your collider file. As, as you, you could see from our um, our models, this is a kit, you know, the styles, are, the graphic styles are just simple, uh, 3D documentations, but you could enhance this 3D documentations. I'll leave links into the description how you could invent, enhance your isometric to your 3D documents and, you know, but let's export our model to Lumion. So exporting, exporting our 3D model to bring, you know, we just, it's just a matter of bringing it to life, bringing our models to life by adding color, light, and shadows, vegetations, and to produce nice illustrations, you know, just to render, basically render and produce nice uh, images. You know, like, like what they say, a picture tells a thousand words, Lumion will help you with effects. Lumion helps in, in terms of improving graphics and illustrations with, with its various render effects. You know, here in Lumion, it's, 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 you have the flexibility to view our diagrams in sketch effect, color effect, any kind of effect, even high quality render effects. You know, you have a mixed, uh, you know, we can produce mi mixed graphic styles, unlike a Nike head, but this is why the workflows are hand in hand, you know, you need to use the softwares. I know people use Photoshop a lot, but what I'm saying is if you are efficient, if you are handy, if you know Akihad and Lumion, this is another workflow you could, um, you could um, incorporate in your workflows. In Lumion, um, play around with effects if you're satisfied with Lumion. Uh, the images are nice and you know just this is another speed build uh, we have quite a lot of images uh, quite a lot of tutorials in terms of how we were rendering how we produce render effects how we in-depth tutorials of Lumion but this is just a workflow demonstration not a step-by-step -step guide so I was I'll play with different kinds of effects the styles and I, I, I could save this you know, save this as well, the effects so I could use them time and again, time and again for concept presentations. You know, these effects are very good for concept presentations. It's like a drawing feel like, you know, a sketchy feel like, you know, when you print. And it's it's nice, it's it's really nice. So after rendering and the images, this is what we managed to produce. And we are satisfied. We are need to compile now for in our Akihad layout book. This is again getting back to our workflows. We are going to compile. Uh, we are bring our work together as a unified selection of drawings with a format, scale, and style that work together to create a logical and comprehensive view of the project. So we are going to combine the comprehensive view of our project from the sketches to the Akihad workflow to the renders you know, 
and show our workflow and show our project and you know you submit this would help you you know help in terms of your audience to understand your drawings in general we read the design presentation from left to right so and bottom from and and from top to bottom so consider this story of your design and how it will be read we will be showing you the progression you know from the starting point the sketches to the exploded views to the renders basically the progression of the project the overview of the project so we'd you know make maybe two three sheets of our diagrams concept diagrams let's say you have another diagrams for the site for the concepts and the for, for the final renders basically um, you'd, you'd have enough information so to to conclude um actual diagrams in the many ways guys in the many and various forms sometimes seem to defy categorization but they are invaluable tool in the design process they're very 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 valuable in the design process guys diagrams are an effective means of communicating ideas to clients to the public they condense large amounts of diverse information into small fields and their uh, informality and flexibility allow us to move on with the project when not all information is available you know this 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 uh very very good in terms of communicating your design workflows guys anyway uh, this is this file will be available for uh, download in the link disc in, in the link on the description. Um, our patrons and subscribers would have access to this file. Uh, please make sure you, you are uh, subscribed to our patron, so you have uh, quite a lot of files that we normally use for our tutorials and to enhance your workflows, speed up your project deliveries with our files. You know tap into patron guys you know thank you for your amazing feedback and um, interactions over the years guys uh, we've been very helpful in terms of uh, motivating us to provide more content like this and today um, this was just basically following through part one of the video that uh, I seemed it seemed very important for me to cover but that's basically it for today guys um i think going forward uh, i'll produce an in-depth animation of this project of this architectural diagrams we could animate this concept diagrams into adobe after effects or lumion advanced animations this project to you know a, a lot a lot a lot a lot of tricks that you could use to uh, present architectural diagrams Today was just a other tip, a tip and trick that we uh, we vowed to offer you guys with. Um, until next time, stay creative, like and subscribe, and share our videos. Stay creative. Bye for now.